Yo, what's up guys, it's your Kogoro here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a new Logbait version, which I saw a lot of people playing on the top of the leaderboard. It's kind of rare to see Logbait being used on the top of the leaderboard. So I decided to copy this version. I already played a little bit in the Grand Challenge to the point where I'm now 9-0. So this deck is actually working really well, really fun to use, really solid. And of course, today's goal is to get the 12th win in this Grand Challenge. So I will see you guys soon with game number one. Okay, perfect guys, look at we found game number one, looks like we're up against this guy or girl, actually looks like Michelle, so let's give him a good luck, and let's see what um, yeah she or he is gonna be running, let's start off with the Colin Bell right away, so most of the times I rather, yeah, try to wait a little bit to see, but of course in the beginning, if I do have the Colin Bell, I like to start with, uh, start off with it, but since the Derek Dashes is so popular right now, most of the times I uh, yeah, first try to tank with, for example, Knight, distracted with something else before i actually go with the golden barrel it's not um yet that i spam it that often anymore like for example it used to be with for example the princess tower used to always be a very good thing to cycle a lot of golden barrels nowadays in my opinion it's not that good okay so let's go with golden barrel here to the left side the dagger dash in this case is gonna use most of the yeah ammo against the knight and afterwards we can maybe get some damage in this case we can't because he does go um yeah with the snowball Let's go with a look here to cycle, and then I think, um, yeah, let's first go with skeletons, wait a little bit to see what he does, and then if not, I'm just gonna go knight on top of the, um, yeah, little prince. Okay, I should have waited one second so the little prince didn't continue to shoot faster, then we, uh, yeah, the knight wouldn't have taken that much damage, but I guess it's fine. Okay, let's keep under pressure, knowing that the dagger dash is out of ammo, I think he should be able to, yeah, I was about to say, we should be able to force out quite a bit of elixir, and then here I'm gonna go with golden barrel as soon as the bowler walks up a little bit to be annoying. Probably force out some arrows or maybe something else. Okay, in this case, we force out the bed, so perfect. Prince is gonna get a lot of value here. He does go with the arrows, but it still should be able to, um, yeah, DPS down quite a bit those units. And then I'm gonna go with the evil knight here to tank. So, what is the most important thing about this deck, in my opinion, is always playing around their cycle, around their spells. In this case, we know that he just spent arrows. I'm gonna pressure with Goblin Gang. He shouldn't have that good of a cycle. To defend this knight plus Goblin Push, he is gonna go with Snowball. He is gonna go with Little Prince, but we're still gonna get so much damage out of it. Very nice push and very good um, yeah, single elixir. Okay, about to hop into double elixir. Let's go with another golden bell here. Let's see what he's gonna do. Looks like he does go with giant plus uh, maybe something else in the bridge here. Let's go with evil skeletons. And let's go with a look as well. Evil skeletons, in my opinion, they are still so strong, so broken. Not that many people use it nowadays. I feel like people, well, it's kind of obvious because the bomber is really strong. Other um, evolutions are really strong as well. But in my opinion, people aren't really using skeletons that often. And they kind of forgot how broken they are. But they are actually super strong as well still. Okay, let's wait a little bit. I think he might go with arrows sometime soon. Or is he just going to let this be? Okay, looks like he's just going to let this be. Um, I'm going to poison like this. Wait a little bit. And then I'm going to lock on top of all those barbarians. And something else to distract it as well. Because if not, those are going to get a lot of damage. And they are still going to get quite a lot of damage. Oh my god, those barbarians are yeah really strong. Especially when the dagger dash is out of ammo. Okay, let's go Goblin Barrel here. I guess I'm just going to... I wanted to say ignore the Little Prince. But he again goes with the ability... Let's go with a knight, and then afterwards I'm going to go with princess here to clean up all those beds, and I'm going to keep under pressure with some skellies as well. Okay, so we didn't even show the Inferno Tower yet, I think. I don't think he's going to expect it, so um, yeah, I can go with Inferno Tower probably up high here. I doubt that he's going to go with like Barbarians or something in front. If he goes Barbarians now, it's already too late because he doesn't have a reset. We know that he has Snowball plus Arrows. Okay, so pretty good situation, I would say. We can go with princess here again to be annoying. Let's go with Skeletons. If he goes with Arrows, we can try to cycle back to a new goblin barrel here okay let's first go with poison he goes with little prince to predict uh predict and goblin barrel and afterwards i'm gonna go with golden barrel now it does have snowball so it, i don't think it's gonna get any damage but it's still good to force out elixir defensively and always be annoying like i think the most important thing about log bait is just to be annoying force out a lot of um yeah, spells and be annoying also well defending like for example now i'm gonna go goblin gang i'm gonna go skeletons and then as soon as i can i'm gonna go with goblin barrel knowing that he's probably gonna arrow offensively exactly and then in the meantime, the goblins are gonna yeah, do a good job on defense. I probably should have princessed the bridge right as I went with princess. I was like, okay, I don't think I needed it on defense. I should have played it on offensively. Um, in this case, to force out probably something else like a bowler or something um, yeah, like that. Okay, let's go with a knight here at the bridge. Let's go with a goblin gang split. And then I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I think I'm still gonna go goblin brill. Hopefully we can force out the arrows. That will be amazing. But in this way, this um, yeah, the princess is gonna get a lot of value. Looks like he doesn't, but he does waste the arrows on offense here. Let's go with evil skeletons. Let's go with princess. Let's go with the goblin gang. I don't think he has any elixir right now to defend this um, yeah, barrel right now. Okay, let's go with goblins. Let's go with poison. We do need to watch out because this giant is still quite healthy. And as we know, dagger dashes isn't great against um, yeah, tanky units. Okay, let's go goblin at the bridge. Let's then go with goblin barrel. 
And I'm gonna go Princess here as well as soon as we can. Please tell me that it somehow shoots. Okay, nice. The Princess gets a shot. 50 HP left on the left side tower. We just need to survive for a few more seconds. And that's gonna be game. Wow, that was actually a crazy match. Played it quite well. It's given a good game for sure. And we're 10 and 0 right now. So that means that we need two more wins to be able to win the Grand Challenge. I'm telling you guys, this Logway deck is really fun and really solid. Especially in the current meta with all the Dagger Dashes being played. So many beatdown decks like Giant, like Lava Out, like Golem. This Inferno Tower deck, uh, well, this Logway deck with the Inferno Tower. It's not an Inferno Tower deck. This Logway deck with the Inferno Tower is really solid and really fun. So I will see you guys soon with game number two. There you go, guys. Look what we found. Game number two, Luxor up against uh, this guy or maybe a game girl called Lydia. I don't know why all of a sudden first game, Michelle, now Lydia. Is this going to be an episode where we're facing only, uh, well, female names or female players? Could be one of the, the two. Okay, let's go with the Goblin Barrel right away. As I said before, whenever I do have it in the starting hand, I tend to start off with it just to be annoying, maybe force out a spell, kind of get information on what deck they're playing. And then afterwards, I do try to play a little bit more around the fact when they um, yeah, don't have that much, for example, ammo in the Dagger Dashes, or when we can tank it with, for example, Knight or something. I guess I prefer to go with it like that. Okay, let's go Knight here as well. Let's go with Skeletons to Psycho. Um, and I think I'm going to poison on defense to win this here just to yeah, get rid of the Little Prince. As soon as possible and make sure that afterwards we don't really need to deal with it if he goes ability now it would be a really bad idea uh bad ability okay let's go goblin barrel here as well so giant skeleton little prince bomber oh i think i know what deck it is i think it's gonna be um a goblin giant deck yeah i'm like 99 sure it's gonna be a goblin giant deck i think it runs sep so we do need to watch out with that sep of course is really good against the inferno tower the good thing for us is that it doesn't really run a really good spell or oh, it does also go with minions oh my god that's really good minions by him but he has Earthquake as well. What is this version? Bowler, Earthquake. Okay, I'm not really sure what version he's running. Luckily for us, this Knight is uh, not in range where the Bomber hits the tower. So I think the Bomber will not be able to get any chip damage on the tower. Perfect. I mean, I guess pretty good defense for everything that was coming at us. He had a Bowler, Minions, Goblin Giant. So much Elixir there on the field. Um, and we were able to defend it, I guess, without taking too much damage, honestly. Okay, let's go with Skeletons here. If he does go with ability, we can go with Princess to cycle towards our knight. If not, I think I'm just gonna... Not sure if I should play in the same lane. I think I'm gonna start pressuring the opposite lane, knowing that he has bowler. Knowing that he has, like, minions and stuff like that. I think it's good to, yeah, start pressuring a little bit in the opposite lane. And then now, if he, for example, spends the bowler, I'm definitely gonna pressure here. Okay, let's go Princess. He goes Giant Skeleton. So he's Giant Skeleton. Goblin Giant. A lot of, yeah, tanky units. A lot of, like, heavy units. But at the same time... Um, yeah, very good answers against our defensive units as well. Like, he has Earthquake, he has Zep, he has definitely good answers here, uh, like, against us. Okay, nice. Let's go with the Knight here. Let's then afterwards go with Goblin Barrel. And then these Skeletons will be able to, yeah, easily take care of the Giant Skeletons. So that's awesome. And in the meantime, we can go with a Poison on top of the right side tower. And oh my god, that's so much damage. Like, that's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Whenever I go with a um, Goblin Barrel being tanked for... Buy, for example, Knight, buy something else, or whenever the Dagger Dash is, is out of ammo, it's just so good, like, in my opinion, it's, yeah, the way of playing Logbait in the current meta, before, I would say, try to cycle as many Goblin Barrels as possible, but I feel like in the current meta, it's just way better, way stronger to try and, like, outcycle him, try to get a yeah, good moment to go with the Goblin Barrel and to get a lot of value out of it. Okay, let's go. Ooh, bad poison. Please tell me that the Little Prince will walk up a little bit, because if not, okay, nice. Luckily for us, it does walk up a little bit, because if not, that was gonna get, um, yeah, way too much value afterwards. And then now we do, ooh, this is scary. This is actually really scary, guys. Let's go with a uh, knight here, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go with a goblin gang like this. Um, and let's go, okay, also really bad goblin gang. Wait, I think that we just lost. I think that we just lost, to be honest. Probably gonna ability soon. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're kind of defending, but that was one of the worst goblin barrels possible, actually. Or one of the worst goblin gangs possible. Okay, I don't think we need to defend it. Perfect. Okay, we're still alive somehow. That was actually really scary. Really bad Goblin Gang on my part. I thought that the Bomber was going to hit the Knight. But I guess the Bowler pushed it back where it doesn't hit the Knight. Okay, let's go Knight here. He's probably going to go Goblin Giant plus Minions, right? Or something like that. Um, we need to be careful here. This is actually kind of getting scary. Let's go with Goblin Barrel towards the right side. And then afterwards, I think go with a Princess here as well. Just to be annoying, maybe to force out something else. Um, let's go with a knight here as well, and then I'm gonna go with a high inferno tower whenever it doesn't expect it exactly, just to make sure we don't give too much, um, yeah, earthquake value. Okay, we still need to be careful, because he still has the little prince, he has the goblins, bowler is still quite healthy, let's go with another goblin barrel, skeletons here to cycle. Um, luckily for us, he has Z plus earthquake, so he can't really easily kill our princess, but at the same time, it's still, um, yeah, not like that easy to get a lot of value out of it. Okay, let's go Goblin Bell here. Let's then afterwards go with Knight. And I'm gonna go with Evil Skeletons like this. 
Okay, can we defend this? 300 HP left on his tower, but I don't know if we can defend this Goblin Giant push. We need to go with uh, Skeletons. We need to go with Goblins. I'm gonna go Knight up high just to make sure that the Bomber somehow doesn't hit our tower. And here the Evil Skeletons are going crazy. Let's go with Locke as well. Let's try to go with everything. Soon as possible to cycle back to another Goblin Barrel. Nice. Let's go Goblin Barrel now. 280 HP left on the tower. I think one of the Goblins should be able to hit. Let's then go with Poison. And oh my god, we got the W. That was a crazy match. I think... I don't know if we have a good matchup there, to be honest. Like, I think used to be pretty good matchup, but then the Evil Zap is just so good. He also has Earthquake, like Earthquake plus Zap. Basically, instantly kills our Inferno Tower. Then he also has minions to distract it. Evil Bomber, which is really annoying. I mean, maybe we have a slight advantage, but that's definitely not an easy matchup. You guys saw it. I think I did make a few mistakes, especially that one defense where I went Goblin Gang thinking that the Bomber was going to hit the Knight. Instead, the Bomber just instantly killed our Goblin Gang. And I was like, oh no, I think I'm going to lose the tower. Luckily for us, we kind of survived and then they uh, slowly but surely chipped down the right side tower. So 11-0 right now. Let's see if we can get that 12-0 in the next match. See you guys whenever we find the next opponent. Okay, guys, there you go. Looks like we found the next match. Could be the last match of today's video. If we do end up winning this one, it's going to be the last one. And of course, the 12-0. If we do end up losing, I guess we're going to hop into the next match. Uh, yeah, to try and get the 12 win afterwards. But the goal is, of course, to get it right away. A clean 12-0 would be amazing here. Okay, let's go Goblin Barrel towards the left side. Zep nowadays instantly counts it with the Dagger Dice, just like Lockbait. It's definitely not in the best um, yeah, state in the game, but at the same time, it's really fun to use. At least I yeah, enjoy playing Lockbait a lot. And then I feel like this version with the Poison, with the Inferno Tower, is the best version out there for sure. That's exactly what people are running in the top of the leaderboard. So I guess, uh, yeah, it's for a reason. Okay, let's go Lock here to Cycle. Let's then afterwards go with some Skeletons. I don't know if he has... Um, I think he has the version. Yeah, I think he has the version... I uploaded a few days ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but I uploaded a video using this giant deck with the Elixir Collector, with the Evil Bomber. Um, this deck is really strong and really popular right now. So let's see if we can get a W here against this deck. If I'm not wrong, he's already back to Evil Bomber. Is he going to Evil Bomber the bridge? I think he might, right? I think, I mean, yeah, I was about to say that. I think everyone would do that. People nowadays are just going to Bomber whenever they get the opportunity. I mean, I guess it's a nice play by him because it's only two Elixir. And if he does get the um, yeah, shots, it's definitely worth it for him. Of course, that's a lot of damage. But in this case, we were ready for it. So very nice prediction there. Let's go with Goblin Barrel right away here on the left side to keep out the pressure. And I think I'm going to go Goblin Gang as well. Seeing that the Dagger Dashes isn't fully uh, yeah, recharged yet, Goblin Gang is a little bit annoying for him here. In this case, we force out the Night Witch, which afterwards is going to die quite easily. Okay, I think his cycle right now is kind of awkward, right? I think he has like Elixir Collector, Giant Zep, plus um, Arrows in cycle. So he's probably... Oh, no, Little Prince. That's true. Um, yeah, he used the um, exactly he used the step on defense, so he's just gonna little prince. Still a good princess. We get two shots on the tower. I will take any shot any day with a princess. Princess, of course. Um, yeah, always nice to get some chip damage with. Okay, we need to be careful. Now I think he's gonna go with a giant in the back. So let's actually keep up the pressure. Let's go with knight. Let's go with skeletons. Perfect. Very good prediction of the um, yeah giant. And here I'm also gonna go with goblin barrel. Okay, he does go with the evil zap. Good thing is that the evil zap now is out of cycle. So then afterwards our inferno tower. We'll be able to get a lot of value here against the giant push. And then I think we just need to prepare. Oh, he has lightning. Oh, he doesn't even have arrows. That's why he didn't use them yet. He has lightning. Okay. I mean, interesting version by him. Inferno Tower with 1 HP is still shredding the giant. Got a lot of value there. And I don't know if he used the zap. Was that a zap in the last second? I was actually just looking towards the, um, the webcam when I, um, yeah, like looked away. Okay, let's go with skeletons here to distract. Let's then afterwards go with a knight and let's then go with a goblin game. Okay, the fact that he doesn't have arrows makes this matchup 100 times better. I used this deck a couple of days ago with arrows plus um, yeah, evil zap. This guy is using it with the evil zap plus a lightning. Okay, interesting version, but it's definitely not working out for him so far. Let's go with a um, lock here as well to kill the bomber. Let's then go with another princess. And at this point, we can even just try to cycle... Um, Okay, let's wait for the Phoenix to explode. Let's then go with Evil Skeletons. And I'm going to go with Goblin Barrel here as well. Just to be annoying. I think he's going to be out of Elixir soon. There you go. He goes offensively Zap. Goblin Barrel is able to lock onto the tower. We can just go with Poison, honestly. I don't think the Little Prince plus everything um, yeah, he has on the field is going to take down our tower. Our tower is still way too healthy. So this Lockbait deck is insanely solid. Really fun to use. So if you guys are a Lockbait lover or if you guys are looking for a deck... Which is really good in the current meta, especially against the beatdown decks. Of course, having Inferno Tower, having a quick cycle, having the poison is really nice to have. So, very good video from 9-0 to 12-0. That's awesome. Let's hop into the chest opening really quick. And that's going to be it for today's video. Looks like we do get a legendary. That's awesome. 10 bowlers in the last card. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god, I remember a lot of people yeah, told me, please do the let's see, let's see. I can't anymore. I used to do it a long time ago. I know, but right now it doesn't really, yeah, I don't really do it anymore. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please make sure to smash the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.